Hello, it's me, Tina, from Ideas and Embellishment, and I wanted, in keeping with the decorating of this journal, I wanted to make some flip it, flips uh, for four, for the four pockets. I just thought about it. So I made me like a little template, and I just kind of measured, like this is, um, this whole thing is, and this is just because I measured it in my book. If you're doing it, you're going to have to measure your own book <laughs> because it's going to be different unless your pages are the same as mine, which my pages, um, each page is like, um, I, I, I can, I'm not going to measure my pages right now, but I'm just saying I made this template because it will fit on top of the pockets that are in there. Um, 5.75 by 3.5. And then what I did, because I want some of them to open in the middle, I folded it in half and measured here. And then I made like um, some little, oh, that doesn't even look right. I thought it would, but it doesn't. Well, poop. It's fine, I can cut them down. I will cut these down. I thought I made them right, but I guess I didn't. Um, to whatever this is right here. And I want them to be about that. Oh, see, some of them are. It's just that one. Well, just a few. This one's right. Not funny. I'm not a good measurer. <laughs> so I'm gonna um. I'm going to stick these in here and I'm going to cut them down so they will be right in my trimmer. So yeah, so they'll be right. Anyway, so now what I have to do is I have to make the bases for these, um, these things. So what I need to do, basically the only thing I need to do is for the ones that flip on the top this way, I need to make this like a quarter inch or a half an inch depending on what I want to do and then the other on the sides the same so um, if that makes any sense at all so what I now I just need to figure out what kind of paper I want to use as the base and I probably should have looked already but I didn't so I think um, I have a lot of this parchment cardstock so I think I might use it um yeah it'll work so I'm gonna use this I'm gonna get a piece and five let's do the um sides first 5.75 so we have 5.75 and then I'm gonna add a half an inch so that I can score it on both sides make sense See what I'm saying? So I can half a, I can score it a uh, quarter inch on either side. So it's 5.75 times 3.5. Okay. Now I am going to, because I don't want to measure, I'm just going to pinch it. I'm going to fold it in half and pinch it right there. And then I'm going to cut it right in the center. And hopefully, uh, lucked out, man. Lucked out. Let me get my little punch board. My baby punch board. And I'm going to punch, I'm going to, I want it to be like this. So we're going to quarter inch on either side. Little quarter inch. I'm about done with this thing. Seriously, about done. I love this little journal. This has been the most fun journal to work in. Okay, you want to make sure this is good and tight like this. Okay, then I'm gonna um, get my, I think I'm gonna, yeah, just use the Rustic Wilderness. That's kind of what we've been using the whole time. 
just a little ink around. I could probably do blue. say every day that I want to take a nap. <laughs> it's like every day I feel like I say that. So I'm just going to put this on here. And I have two of the same. So I'm going to put them on here. And I am just using the coordinating um, that scrapbook pad. Just using, and then that way all of my papers coordinate. Theoretically. <laughs> That's not exactly right, but hey, it's close enough for nuclear work. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna, this is the thing I'm gonna find a page that kind of looks like it will go. Let's see. I got all this. I need to move all these scraps. I got too much stuff on my desk. Well, you know, they're coordinating, but that doesn't mean they're... It's this one. I love the way that came out. Maybe I don't have four of them. I think maybe this one will be all right. So this would go like here. Just paste it right there. We'll do that. So I'm gonna commit to it. Like it's make sure like that. You want it to be straight. Okay. Then on the inside, we can take, and we'll put one of these um, little quotes up here from the movie. We'll go ahead and I just painted, um, I just went and put all of the, I just went online and found movie quotes and I decided that um, I would put them throughout the book because I thought it would be kind of a cool idea. Like the way that is right there with the, with the, let's see if I can move some of the stuff. Oh, I think I just stick it on the floor. Um, so, what you have here is this, and then, um, like, I have different, let me just show you, some of the things that I bought, I went to the Dollar Tree, and I got, like, like I have this, never forget your worth, or... And these are just out of a book. There is a charm equal to tenderness of heart, or hear my soul speak the very instant I saw you. These are just things out of a book. And this would need to be cut down, I 
think I would do it this way. So I think I'm gonna cut off my thing. This is just to show you. You can use anything. Really, I think I'm gonna actually right at that line. Oh, there's two of them. Love hath the butter, the wings of a butterfly. I like that one too. Let's see. Yes. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna measure this. This is gonna be, let's see, we can do five by five by seven. Well, I said five by seven, right? So let me make this a little bit smaller so I can do five by seven, right? So if I did this, it would be five by seven. Okay, I'm gonna get me a piece of paper and I think I'm gonna use pink, why not? And I'm going to do seven and five. And then here, I'm going to go ahead and I like to. Um, I think, um, it's a really fun idea to just go, and I got these, these at the Dollar Tree, so just little books that were a dollar that had motivational little things in them. Anyway, I'm just going to show you, which one did I say I wanted? Oh, this one. So I'm going to do this. And this gives you a little wiggle room so you can kind of move it around a little bit. Take this. And the reason I'm doing this is to give it some more oomph, you know? little more and I'll take this and I'll put it in front like that and since it says love half the wings I can go over and I can grab a couple of these little butterflies I think that'd be cute how about this one That, something like that with a flower. Let's do a flower too. Or maybe a little mushroom. No, let's just do maybe like that. Just something like that. Something simple. We can always go back and add more. Let's see. tape. Sometimes they are a little difficult to get off, but. And then some people use like little pointy things. <laughs> okay, maybe we're not going to get the sticker off. Y'all. Okay, this one's being particularly difficult. I am 
I'm determined. Come on. <laughs> it's not coming. It's coming now. That one did not want to come off. I'll put a little glue here. <laughs> My luck. The thing. Okay. And then let's see if this one maybe comes off a little easier. Maybe we only need one. That one came out a lot easier. So anyway, that's just to show you what to do as far as how to close these and you just, and then you have this open like that. So that's kind of, um, that's kind of cool. So that is decorated. That is done. So now I'm going to go. Oh, and I also made, just so you know, I made this called book board. Um, I don't know if you know what a book board is, but let's say I just use, this is a reproduction of a old book cover. And I just put gold washi tape around the edges to, to see with the gold. And like to say that, um, Let's say that I want to write on here, and it's all, well, that's not going to work, but yeah, it could be. Let's say, let me see. Let's see. Uh, anyway, let's just say you want to write on something. Let's say I want to write on the back of this page right here, and you have all this lump. Well, you would just stick this in here, and you have a, it gives you a smooth surface to write on. Also, too, another thing is like this, like if I want to write on this and I have this, I can take this and put it in the pocket right here and I can write on this side. So that's what the book board is for. Okay, so let's do another one. Let's do a top clip. So I have this, it's the same size and we have five and seven five. So let's use this again. 5.75, oh, my thingy fell off. <sighs> Y'all. Oh man, of course it did. Oh, there it is. You'd think they could come up with a better system. All right. And then, since it's 3.5, I'm going to go 3.75 to give me that extra little quarter inch. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to get my little bone folder thingy, and I'm going to do a quarter inch. Okay. And then this one I'm going to use here. I'll just use this here. Not pretty. So, um, find my ink dauber. And put this on here. I don't guess it matters, but I want my flowers to be right side up. Find another spot. Like 
that's pretty. And underneath here, I think, I knew it's another one. Let's do, bless the seven little men who have been so kind to me and may all my dreams come true. Oh, and please make grumpy like me. <laughs> please make grumpy like me. Now, I think I don't want to make do too much in here because I do want people to have a way to um, actually add stuff. Because, yeah, I'm going to... I want to. I think I'm gonna sell this and find a new one because I want to do it again. Because <laughs> I think this is so fun. Okay, and then this guy. Like that. Down here. That and I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to find another one. This may be something. This is a little book. Now I'm not going to put that in there. I'm going to do Love is the Great Beautifier. And I think I'm going to do the same thing with this one than I did with the other one. I'm going to cut this down a little. I think it'll fit, actually. All right, so I'm going to get another piece of... Um, what do I do with all of it? Oh, I have it up here. This time I'm going to use the... Um, I'm just going to use this. I'll put it on here. Wait, I wanna. I'm sorry if I'm out of frame. I'm just rounding the corners. Love is the great beautifier. Do you think love? Yeah, I think maybe. This is like, because I feel like I'm taking away journaling spots. So these are ways to places to journal um, on, in the book. Places to journal in the book. So, just cutting this down. Because one of the things, you know, that Lillian showed me is that you can use pretty much anything to put in these journals. You don't have, it doesn't have to be, um, you know, I mean, a lot of people are like, I want the vintage, I want the vintage. Why? You know, I mean, okay. I mean, that's cool if you want the vintage. Go get you some vintage. Okay, so this is going to go right there, like that. And then what I think I'm going to do is use one of, do I have one that says beautiful? Yeah, this one says beautiful. Um, so I'm going to cut this down. This is one I, I embossed. So I embossed this, this little, the word beautiful I had in a stamp. So I embossed it. Okay, that's what I did. So let me see what I have here. I want to 
Where is that? The same stuff I had. Um, I think I put it away. I should have had scraps. Nope, my hair is getting in my, my hair is getting in my way. No scraps. Let me see this. Oh, no. oh, there's one. That's right, I stuck them all in there. I'm going to do it this way. Because it matches, right? Go ahead and... Probably be farther up here, but I am not. I can probably just use my scissors instead of getting at my cutter. Then I'm going to get me a piece of lace. Right here. A little bit of And then this here. Simple yet lovely. Okay, so that's what we have. We have this one that opens from the top. And we can also put something on here if we want to, a picture or something. Um, I do have, um, anyway, I'm gonna do this. So what I wanna do while I'm sitting here before I even more start making more stuff is I thought I would go ahead and start putting some stuff in here because I have it, so. Um, Let's just see what I have here. Put my glue up and just see. So I have these and some of them I still need to put on. I made these tags here and what I did was I just took a piece of that parchment paper, I embossed a piece of the pink, I added a couple of tags that uh, from a kit from My Porch Prints that I have, I think it's her grandma's garden kit. I did a couple of circles of punch with a punch, different punches, and that's a washi, a washi sticker. So I can put um, tag in there. I'm gonna put another topper on that. Um, I also have this poem about Snow White's true love. I'm gonna put that in there too what else I have here. Here's our thing. I can also put stuff like just add these on the page instead of having it as a flip or something. I can just put those on there if I want to. Um, here's my little house and I need a paper clip to put that on there. Oh, I have a paper clip right here. What I'm gonna use is one of these heart paper clips that were gifted to me in the Happy Mail. So that'll go like that. 
Let's see, go we'll keep going. Not a whole lot. Here is a tuck spot. So I have this cute recipe card I can put in there. And maybe this pretty flowered picture that I got off a of public domain that they can write on. What else do I have? We did this. Isn't this awesome? And I already put a picture in. I've put this on here. It says, have a nice day. This is another one of those journaling cards from My Porch Prints. Um, this, I just stuck to, um, I just stuck one of those what are they called? The, the coaster cards. And then in this one, we did this just the other day. I just cut this picture out from public domain. I thought it was so pretty and it fit and fit it in the envelope. And so that's that. Let's see, what are we gonna put here? I have a bunch of tags that I haven't finished yet. I also have a few pockets. So like if I wanted to, like this for instance, is a pocket, and I would just put the thing right here, put a pocket right there. I made the, well, no, I didn't make these. Where's, I made these. This is a little um, specimen card, and it's got a little tag in it. And I put, um, you can see that. I put one of my words on there, and these are just, uh, they're called liquid pearls. So I think I'm going to put that right there on the front. And maybe one of these, um, see, I need to do some stuff to these tags. So I need to do some more to these. I think I'm going to put some washi stickers or something on there. But, um, so I need to work on those before I actually put them in a, um, thing. Another thing I did, oh, I put this, oh, that came out, is I made these. And this is one of the paper clips that I made. And I can take these and put them like here. So they really make a cute addition to the pocket like that. See, I just took uh, a piece of that. I put some stickles. I put some um, liquid pearls and one of my one of my words. And I just did it like that. I think that looks really cute. And I made several of them. Um, so I need to do some more stuff on the, up uh, here, I need to, I can put one of my, one of these tags in here, I think that would be good for that, what else do I have, I also have these, which are just, um, journaling cards that, I don't know, I can just, um, like for this one right here and just stick it over top of the page like that and just leave it like that. This is an envelope that I embossed. And what I did, this is so funny. You guys may think this is hilarious, but what I did was I tried to make it look like somebody wrote that, Seven Dwarfs, right? And then inside is a letter from the evil queen saying, I'm going to get Snow White. <laughs> so I was playing around with that. And I did that. So I'm going to put this in here. And what this is going to, and it's going to have to go on uh, this side, this kind of, um, yeah. So I can do it like this right here. So what I would do is just, I'm going to use Fabri-Tac, I think. Um, is here. 
This is going to fold over the page. And this is just a junk mail envelope. No, I mean, it's honestly just a junk mail envelope that I, that I embossed and kind of covered up, so... So, and then on this side, it has, it just has a journaling card. But I just thought that was pretty. So, like that. So there, that's in there. Here's another place to put one of these paper clips, I think. Whoops, come on. They just look really pretty right there. And I need to add, uh, I need to make some more things. This is a um, vintage card that I got in a, in a box. <laughs> Here is, um, just a, a card I can put in there that I just took, and that was some of the things she did. She just took some of the um, scrapbook paper and just stuck it in there, and I thought that was a great idea. Also, I have some of these little cards that I got off public domain. So I can put some of these in here, I think. This one says, some of these are too big, too big, too big. This will fit in there. And of course, here's a little guy. Just stick some different things in here. Like that. And they will have that. Whoops, what is this guy here? We don't have anything back here. Let's put this guy here. This is supposed to be silly. It's a strange beast of the world. <laughs> Let's stick him in there. Maybe put him up here too. Very cute. So that's that. I need to come up with something for that, and I will. Uh, I can also, on the back of here, um, this is a little pocket that I made that goes on a corner page, like something like this. And then you have uh, different ones. So with this one, and let me know any of these things, if you see these things um, that you want to know how to make, or if it's something that you think you would like to learn to make, or if I wasn't clear, then let me know in the comments and I will, I will let you, I will show you how. Easy peasy. And I am, like I said, I need to go do some stuff to these. Um, to these, um, but this is a pocket and this is a pocket. Um, and I glued the back, but the back would have been a pocket too, but I glued the back, so. So what? <laughs> it's okay. Um, I also have these little things which are really nice. Got them public domain. So there's always lots of stuff to put in things, things, so. This is another journaling spot. So what else do we have? So I'm gonna keep on, here, here, let's put another, um, this looks like a nice pocket to go with here. Let's do this one. That matches rather well. And I'm going to go ahead and put the other little 
thing that I made. Um, actually, this could kind of, meh. Where's the other little thing I made? I just saw it. Come on, you. Ah. I'm going to put this one on here, too. I like it. I like these little things. I think they're cool. And I have a few of those pockets. So this is a weird card, but this is supposed to go. It's not weird. It's cool, actually. It goes... Let's see, let me find a page. This is one that Lillian made and I thought it was really kind of neat. Uh, let's see, I'm getting to the point. I don't have a whole lot of blank pages. Here's one. And it goes over the page like this and then I need another um, paper clip. And then it's got little, it's got a pocket on either side, like I could put one here and one there. So I think I could make a couple of tags out of these things, out of the scraps, like this here. That'd be pretty. And on the other side, let's see, you put this here, like that. So I think I'm all make those into tags and that'd be cute so anyway that's kind of what you do and i'm gonna keep going and then um i think i'm about done decorating um it's getting pretty um pretty chunky so i am going to do a few other things and then i'll come back and have a flip through uh, for you guys. And I really appreciate you watching. And until next time, I'll see you later.